Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? <laughs> We're into our next town. Is it a best town or is it a worst town? What do you like to tell them, Mazzy? It's a best town. It's a best town. It is <laughs> voted the best town in the Midlands. Which I wouldn't really say we're in the Midlands, but it's voted no. best town in the Midlands, middle of England, I think it's trying to say. Right. Uh, fifth best town in Britain, in England. Oh, okay. Would you like to tell them where we are? Stamford. 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 Yep. Right, we're not actually going around it until tomorrow, but I did put the camera on now because we've just had a wonderful experience. Yeah. Wonderful. In Morrison. <laughs> Morrison's Supermarket, <laughs> it has been the most relaxed shop we've ever had, ever. Yes, ever. And Just... we were also greeted by the chap um, on the counter as we were entering. He recognised us. <laughs> well, he, he knew his names from somewhere. Just says, hello, Dan and Mazzy. Hey, Dan and Mazzy. <laughs> <laughs> but what a lovely, lovely yeah, Morrison's. That was a nice experience, wasn't it? Not busy. No. No one rushing around, just lovely. And it is actually on park for night, saying they'll let you park in, in the corner of the car park overnight. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Whether we will be trying that, I don't know. It's good that they offer that, though. Uh, apparently someone did go in and ask if they could leave the van here whilst they went into town and yeah. said, yeah, no problem. Oh, there's um, no time limit, in other words. Yeah, there's there. no time limit. Normally, supermarkets, you might get two hours. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but apparently people have stayed here overnight and had no problems whatsoever. Look at that shop over there, Fun Funky Living Stamford. It's got gnomes and big plastic dogs and like garden signs. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Very interesting. I sure. wonder if... We'll pass there one day. Hopefully we'll get to have a look in there, but it seems a bit out of the way of the town centre. So after three wonderful evenings, in the brown cow. Fantastic time we had. <laughs> uh, no, blue cow, sorry, blue cow. Blue cow. Um, we're back on the road. Yes. Now, yeah, absolutely love to stay there, but see the three dogs in the back of the... Oh, yeah. Four of them. That. There's actually four of them. Back um, of the Jeep. <laughs> oh, the amount of times I banged my head in that hotel. Oh, gosh. Even this morning's leaving. Probably, you had I've, to give it one more go, didn't you? I've probably done it 15 times in the three days and my head, if I could shave my head now, it would be full of bruises. Right, which way are we going? Well, I wanted to check this out first. Oh yeah. I don't know if this is to do with Valentine's Day. Love, love me do. Two hippies on the back of a music shop bike. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I think we want to go over there. Just follow that old couple, Mazzy. Um, yeah, we've just been into, whoops, there's another car, just been into Morrison's, yeah. we don't normally do breakfast, do we? No, it felt a bit like we wanted to s set our tummies off this morning for this. Yeah, we could have eaten in the hotel, we're silly really. Yeah. Um, <laughs> someone waving at us, don't know if he knows us or what. Probably knows us, <laughs> that was too friendly. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we could have eaten in the hotel, but... We didn't want to put people out, you know. And, we had only one stay in there and we thought I'd give them a good chance to have a lie-in. a good rest, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we're walking into Stamford now. We've no idea what to expect in Stamford. No. Don't even know where it is. No. <laughs> but well, it do look nice every time we've sort of driven through it. You like the look of it, don't you? Personally, oh, do. I'm not seeing the character yet. But we haven't been in the town centre. No. So, so we've had to park in Morrison's. It's all uh, height barriers in the car parks in the centre. Yeah. Morrison's breakfast this morning was good. We had I had a coffee and a bacon batty. And I had sausage. Yeah, sausage bat. It did the job. Right, yeah. let's find this centre. First bit of history. I don't know how you say this, but I just want to say Brass Nose. Brass Nose Hall. <laughs> Brass Nose Hall. Lovely gate. Look at that. Not sure what's behind there. The thing about Stamford is it is all stone. This colour. It's like sandstone. It's all sandstone. Yeah. Um, it's lovely though. Every single building. And there's a lot of churches here. I think five, six, seven churches in the centre. 
Oh wow. From what I was reading. <laughs> That's a school, Mazzy. Oh. School. It's rather posh, isn't it? It's very posh, honestly. Mm. It's got a bell up there. Oh, my school oh, just looked like jealous. about six caravans put <laughs> parked next to each other. Okay, I'm guessing we're coming into the centre a bit now. So what is it, Mazzy? Is it a pub? I don't know. I think it might be a flower, a flower, a, a flower and gift shop. <laughs> no, that's next door, surely. Toby Norris. It's, the, it's all one building. I mean, I don't know. It looks lovely. It looks like a nice hotel. It do, doesn't it? Now you've got a grey one there. You can look at Domino's there. Even they got a nice building for a Domino's, isn't they? Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Stamford Botanics. Botanics. Yeah, nice buildings. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Yeah. Okay. Now we're in the middle. Yeah, it's quiet for a Saturday, isn't it? Oh, it's only quarter past nine in the morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're up nice and early today. Showers. Too we're early. To Too early. But yeah, we are <laughs> raring to go today. <laughs> Check out the ribs. <laughs> They're baby ribs, Mazzy. Imagine yeah. what daddy ribs would look like. Yeah. I could make some nice barbecue spare ribs with that. They're half price. I, I do get so embarrassed when he's pointing the camera in the window and the guy's just standing there. Hey, you can film whatever you like from the street. <laughs> it is embarrassing. <laughs> House prices. Yeah, I'm quite impressed really, considering, because I know what this town looks like. It's quite posh here. I think the prices are reasonable. Oh, look at Gas Lane. 280,000 for a little terrace house. 650,000 for that. But I'll, I'll agree with you, these aren't bad. Yeah. 250,000. 285, 285 or 220 on that one. Okay, they're not bad. They're not yeah. bad, considering where we are. Yeah. Have you seen the actual art inside it, Mazzy? There's a nice painting here. No, now I've, no, now I've come and had a closer look at it, it's rubbish. I do like this though. Oh, what is that, a Billy Connolly? Billy Connolly, £7,000, has it? That better be made of solid silver. £7,000. It's got nothing to do with Billy Connolly whatsoever. I like it though, I yeah, I like that. £7,000, I hope Billy <laughs> Connolly made it. <laughs> he probably made a joke about it. And the price. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, wicked. What size are the will fit me? 32. 32? <laughs> Hang on. The men's, Mazzy, the men's. Oh, I like those. <laughs> I actually really like them. This is a little bit special. You've got the, the main street and a market right there. This wonderful gate. A church. Complete with gargoyles. The church bells have just started ringing. And a little graveyard, a little mini graveyard. What a strange place for a graveyard. Or should I say, what a strange place to build a town around. How lovely. So there's a man. It is a nice place to sit. I just yeah, find it weird nice. that there's a man selling flowers about 10 foot away from that dead body's <laughs> grave. I find it strange actually, if you look down the side of this, I think they've turned the church into some shops. Have they? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's weird that. You've got the church and it looks like they've sold part of it off for shops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes you think then that they've ripped out all like the character of it, haven't they, obviously. Well, yeah, unless you want to look at Specs in spec savers. I've got to see the church. <laughs> Apparently, sorry. What? No, no, yeah. Apparently, there is a market on here, a proper market on Friday, I think someone told us. Friday? So, this isn't the proper market? I don't think so. Okay. Or was it Saturday? Is it today? I don't know. Yeah, we got some advice not to come, didn't we? Yeah, I think it was Friday. I think you said it was Friday. I think it was Friday. Yeah. But it's Saturday today. Any cheese lovers out there? Cheese of the week, British Rachel. <laughs> Stamford Cheese and Deli. 
does look very nice from outside. Look how they've put the rope around the windows here. Oh yeah, that's nice. It's lovely. I want to know what the stinking bishop tastes like. <laughs> stinking bishop, rind washed in perry. We've just eaten now, haven't we? So we're not probably going to buy anything else today, are we? I don't know about that, Mazza. Oh, really? I'll give it a go. I'm guessing Walker's Books, Thornton's Gothic House. I'm guessing that is the nicest bookshop in the whole of the world. Yeah, it's that so looks lovely. gorgeous. Look at the little detail up here, something of London there. It's all wooden bottom, beautiful, and then the top of it is incredible. Very nice. Love to stay there, wouldn't you? Oh yeah. <laughs> This is Brook Taverner. Yeah. Menswear and country clothing, Mazzy. Yeah, it looks nice. Well, it sort of looks nice until you see the sign down there. Four shirts for £110, Mazzy. Yeah, but I don't think that's bad. That's only like 25, 27 quid a shirt, babe. <laughs> I was just looking at them in that charity shop. £1 to £1.50 each. <laughs> You're so tight. Oh, look at that. I like I'm the sensible. heart jumper look. That's so me, isn't it? Well, in the two shops you've seen so far, you've been looking at the two things you've found have got hearts on them. The other one had a star on it. Oh, was it a star? Yeah. That's a good uh, slogan for a company, isn't it? Those, Those are, are nice, nice jeans. jeans, said everyone. <laughs> White stuff. Mm. They've got some very top of the range shops here, haven't they? Yeah, like the white company, fat, fat face. face. You know, if there's a fat face, you know. If, if there's it's a white a good company, place. you're in a nice town. <laughs> yeah, so, look, they've got a arse oh, kind yeah, of shop. I wasn't expecting to see a servers down here, yeah. I'll be honest. <laughs> so, yet another church. And another church. And we're going to get run over. I'm guessing this is the far end of town. I'm not sure. Oh, that looks like a nice little alley, doesn't it? Yeah, it We're going to have to go there. down there. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go check that out. All Saints Brewery. We do like this little bit, don't we? Yeah, look over here, look, with the little cafes next to the John Church. Just beautiful there. buildings. You just don't know where to look, do you? No. <laughs> so, yeah, I really love it there. What is that? Is that a, that's a pub. Uh, Wine and Spirit Pattern and Co Merchants. Yeah, I don't know. Crown Hotel, Freckleface. Don't know what that's about. I did notice down here, we'll just walk straight past it. How you what that street store? Well, you've got this stall here. There's a woman there selling the weirdest things you've ever seen in your life, including, you know, playing cards like, what's <laughs> that thing? Higher, lower, with, you, with Bruce Forsyth. <laughs> yeah. Hi, hello, there's, she's got all them, all the cards. She's got a statue which is about 12 foot long in a tiny little market stall. It's a really strange stall, isn't it? But behind there, I noticed, um, Mel is it Melton Mowbray Pies? Oh, you were dreaming of one of them last night, More? a pork pie. Well, you oh, weren't dreaming, pie, yeah. you were asking for one. I did ask for a pork pie, <laughs> you didn't did, I? Yeah. I think they sell pies in there, Mazzy. <laughs> Should we have a look up here in the graveyard while we're here? I think the cell pie is there, Mazzy. Smiles contagious. Pies, pies are over there, there, Mazzy. Okay, we'll come back to pies. So forget the pies. Yeah. <laughs> this is the back of the church, and the tower looks like it's completely separate to that. Yeah. Like... Obviously from a different time. Yeah. See these little alleyways up here. Right? All the businesses have turned them into a lovely little sort of seating area. Do you want to go and get your pie then? I didn't even see any pies, Mazzy. I don't know if he has pies, but no. it's called Malton Mal Mowbray Pies. <laughs> That's the town or a village we've always wanted to go to, isn't it? Yeah, Malton Mowbray. For a pie. But you yes. don't need to if they've got a shop here. You'd only get there and complain, well, Morrison sells them for five for a pound anyway, wouldn't you? It depends, they might be the same price here. <laughs> doubt it. Here, for several centuries, the pillory stood. This form of public punishment was abolished in 1837. 
What is a pillory? What did it do, Mazzy? I don't know, but is it that stone there? Is it something to do with that stone you knew you just saw? Well, there is, no. Well, the stone no. is probably there to mark where oh, it mark was. It or something. Yeah. I don't know what a pillory is, and I don't know what it's what the punishment was. So, someone tell us. Interested? Uh, there's a building down here. It looks yeah. like it's it's roofs caved in. It looks like it's it's. Oh, it's so cute. It's a pub, Mazzy. Is it? The millstone. Now, I don't know where we'd be best standing to get you the best look of that roof, but the roof is caving in, it's brilliant. Oh gosh, it's so cute, babe. The millstone in. Good stabling and loose boxes. How cool. <laughs> Open from 11 a.m. seven days a week. That's pretty good for a pub. Should cross over and show from the other side. Yeah, we'll try. Yeah. Got an Indian there as well, Raj. Yeah, that looks nice too. And then over there, Melbourne Brothers. Really quirky. Every, look, there's the brewery. Every building's just quirky. Yeah. Yeah, you just can't work this out, but it does cave in at the other side. Yeah. Walk around, you might be able to see it from over here. No, not really. It looks better from up there. Anyway. Right, I'm gonna get some pies, Mazzy. Yeah, Nelson's of Stamford. Nelson's of Stamford, authentic Melton Mowbray pie makers. One of the best in Lincolnshire, apparently. Looks lovely, doesn't it? We've seen the pies in the bottom yes. corner. I'm going to go in and get us two. <laughs> I don't want one. I can't eat pastry. You're still going to get two. I'm though, still going to get two, though. Yeah. yeah. Leave me outside here with these. I'll look after. I'll look after you all. Let me just show you this up here. Look at this for a lovely building. It's strange with the big window, open kind of window there. Yeah, it's a very interesting town with a lot of character. Are they hot? No, I only got one. Oh, did you? It's huge. It is huge. I know why you ain't got one. Why? The price in it. <laughs> well, I didn't know the price. I didn't know the price, but when you see the size of it, you'll know why. Look at that. Look at that. What a pie, yeah? How uh, much? Five pound fifty. Right. It weighs there. a ton. It weighs <laughs> a ton. Um, right, I just spotted um, an antique shop up here. Do you want to come and have a look? Yeah. Let's put this in my bag. Yeah. So we're heading down here. The antique shop. Did you tell them about the antique shop? Uh, no, no, I didn't really. Just the fact that I wanted to have a look in, but. Um... It was all jewellery. Yeah. So well, that's the side of this church. I don't know if that stained glass is going to show up very well, but it's fantastic. Right, it looks quirky down here as well, so let's carry on. Another pub? Oh yeah, that looks lovely. The London Inn. How do you know it's called the London Inn, Mazzy? I just saw it. Oh yeah, you mean the tiny little sign up here? <laughs> that is huge! <laughs> the London Inn, very nice. That's what got me, the slanted door over there, that looks quirky. Like that yeah. roof's caving in as well. Yeah, you can see that, can't you? Yeah. The character here, I was saying, is just, I don't know, it's just lovely, isn't it? Mm. Always check your alleyways. Because they can look pretty cool. Look at this. Bungle Lane. Lost her. What's she looking at? It's got the old barn passage. It just looks really quirky. Old barn passage. I was just looking down Bungle Lane. The next Bungle one. Lane, really? Yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> cute, isn't it? What's that place then? Is that a pub? I think this is, but this is just like little cottages. Oh no, the old barn apartment. Yeah, just apartments, cottages. They make nice um, holiday cottages, wouldn't they? Yeah, very nice. 
shop to let. Shop to let, Mazzy, can we have it? Can we have it? Oh, wow. We need to rent this. We need to rent this. A lovely big fireplace in there. What could we sell? I don't know. We don't have to sell anything, Mazzy. Let's just rent it <laughs> as a shop. And we'll just sit in the shop where stare at everyone and say, look at us in our big grand mansion, beautiful yeah. place. <laughs> that is nice. Skinny one. Yeah, there's a lot of history here. I wasn't expecting this. Yeah, it's a shame we haven't properly looked. Well, we haven't looked up the history at no. all, have we? It's a nice shop as well. It just everywhere's. I tell you what, it's a bit like Charles Dickens. Yeah. Don't yeah. you think? Oh, sorry. Great expectations, something like that. It's got that feel about it, or uh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter, something, something a bit unusual. Oh, look at yeah. this building there as well. Have you seen that one? Which one? Sinclair's. Oh no, I ain't got to that yet. Right, look at that, Sinclair's. Fine china and cut crystal. Yes. You know, if that shop set up in my hometown saying cut crystal, you'd have all junkies queuing up around corner at nine o'clock every morning. <laughs> That is beautiful. That was so quick, baby. And we've got another beautiful church. I don't think we've seen this one, have we? I don't know. There's that many churches. The copper room. Yes. The copper room. Pub again, is it? Time bar? Well, well it looks pub-ish. It's more like a wine bar place. You know, you it? look at the main sign as you're walking in, it says, Mulled wine, five pounds, snowballs, six pounds, or hot buttered rum for eight pounds. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen them on any sign outside a pub before <laughs> you, in my life. You've never even seen them inside a pub, have you, them drinks? No. <laughs> I, don't, I do like a snowball, though, I'll have to <laughs> admit. You? I don't know, you're thinking of going down well, there. I don't know, it looks like a massive churchy thing and more character. What do you think? I'm thinking it's downhill and we'll only have to come back up again. Oh, okay. Should we cross over and have a look at this church? I think we'll stick up here for now. Yeah. Okay. That looks like it used to be a pub. Yeah. It's all been renovated. Lovely chimneys on top. The vacuum store. See, we've got the old vacuums in the window. Yeah. Um, Another pub here. St Mary's Faults. I don't know, that's how really intriguing. St Mary's Vaults obviously used to be a pub. I don't think it is anymore because it hasn't got a front door. I'm guessing there, there's lots of vaults and stuff. Oh, don't you think it's a pub anymore? No, I reckon it used to be. Unless you can get in at the other side. Oh, and over here we've got Stamford Theatre. Oh, and an art centre. Oh, not art. So, mm. are you an art lover? Oh, I thought we were at the theatre. Um. Maybe we are, I don't know. <laughs> They're uh, advertising what's on at the theatre, darling. I am a camera, it's called. It's coming out 8th to the 12th of March. Yeah. And it's about 1930s Berlin. That sounds pretty cool. I just noticed there's a sign up here and I can't read it. This building was erected in 1768 as a Stanford theatre. Used for more than 100 years. Uh, no. Oh, notable people. Sheridan Knowles, Edmund Keane. Never heard of them. Never heard of them. <laughs> Are they really notable, Mazzy? I don't know. I don't know. So I was just reading, Mazzy. Yeah? Um, <laughs> Looking at the little stalls. <laughs> it's classed as a gem town. Is it? Since the 1960s or something. It's one of very few which is a gem town. I wonder what gem means. I mean, does it mean it's just the way a gem. It's, it's, it's fantastic. Yeah. The gem. What's they selling? Oh, burgers and stuff. Market is on Friday. All oh, right, okay. It's one yeah. of the biggest in. That, it's one of the biggest there is yeah. in the area. Really? And wow. They also do one on a Saturday as well, a small one, which is today. Today, yeah. Right, we did see a bit down there. We're going to go back, aren't we? Yeah. Because there's a river down the bottom. We're going to go just check that out, see if there's anything worth seeing down yeah. there. Beautiful place. It's What's this plaque up there? there yeah. What's that all about? 
like Chinese New Year or something. No? Yeah? No idea. So why are we stood in front of here, Mazzy? Yeah. What is it? Dunno. Pointy, pointy, pointy thing. It's the most pointy statue I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. Sculpture. Statue. Dunno. It's like a market cross without a cross. And it's very, very pointy. So there's up here, Stamford Sheep Market. Don't really know. Millstone, that must be the back of the pub we were at. You know, the one with the, oh, yeah, the roof caving room. in, yeah? Yeah. So that's the back of it, the Golden Fleece. There's just so much to see and do. There but is. Without having a map, it's nice. It's it's just a matter of walking yeah, around and well, seeing was, what happens. Yeah, for once, I've actually enjoyed doing it and just going wherever your heart wants to follow you, sort of thing. Mm. That's the saying. <laughs> Don't know. You follow your heart. That's Mazzy. the one, yeah, instead of following Google. <laughs> so, yeah, we're coming down here because there is a, a rivery bit and a greeny bit. Mm -hmm. Just like Mike, just break it up a bit. If anything, I'd say the place is lacking signs. Not telling you enough about it. Obviously, you can look them up if you want to, but just check this out. So they've done all this towards uh, remembering the soldiers and everything. Um, but behind here, I don't know if you can see this, there is the oldest, crookedest old door, which leads to nowhere. There's nothing at the other side of there. It looks like a car park or something. But what was here? Is that the... was it a church? Let's just have a look around the side. I don't know, we can't see... ah, oh, site of William the Conqueror's castle. OK. There you go, no signs, eh? <laughs> no signs, Mazzy, no signs. It's the site of a castle, is this? Demolished by the mid-16th century, the only visible standing remains incorporate part of the castle's 13th century Great Hall. So this was the Great Hall of the castle. Okay, that is pretty special. I do like it when they have signs up just like that. <laughs> yeah, it's just the gate, the actual door there, it's standing out. Hey, that's what we want. Hello. <laughs> this is beautiful, isn't it? This is nice. Yeah. This is a wonderful place. You know, you've got everything here haven't you it's it's a lovely lovely town center yeah you and then you've got down here which is just all green around the back it's like a little park you can come and sit down on the bench, walk, walk your, your dogs, dogs feed the birds yeah well i don't know about feed the birds you're not allowed to feed the birds who said you're not allowed to feed the ducks anymore they don't encourage it do they i don't care what they say if you want to <laughs> feed a duck feed a duck so what do you think of the place now let's walk along the river uh, when lovely. we initially came, you were like, oh, I'm not sure. I wasn't seeing old. I was just seeing That's these sandstone uh, yeah. walls. But I didn't see, we, didn't, we didn't see the actual centre of it. Once you get into the centre, some of them are really old, you aren't they? You can walk lovely. down one street just like that. It would take you about 15 minutes if you look at everything, doesn't it? Mm. It's beautiful. It's It's... It does say, I was reading a sign earlier on saying you have to go down all the little streets. Yeah. Um, because a lot of the good little shops are down there. But yeah, we're just going to walk on the riverside now. With the church bells going. Yeah. Because we're heading back towards Morrison's, that's where we're parked up. It's a good place to park. If I can do it with a bad leg, anyone can do it. It's not that far. It wasn't really. that far at all, was no, it? No. It's just today. The one bad thing for us is the wind. It's a very bitter it's a wind. Bit bitter, yeah. It's quite deceiving with the sun out today. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> yeah, really enjoyed Stamford. We're only yeah. spending one day here, guys. We're moving on for tomorrow. Yeah. But yeah, let's just enjoy this little walk. We might come across <laughs> some more stuff yet. Don't know if there's any fish in here, but that'd be a lovely place just to fish off the end of there. Is that classed as Stamford Bridge, Mazzy? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I do know Chelsea Plate Stamford Bridge, not this Stamford Bridge, but that is a bridge in Stamford. Stamford Bridge. 
That's end at Riverwalk. <laughs> no, no public access down that way. So we're back up the. Uh... Going up a little quirky alleyway. Yeah, we don't mind that. We do like these alleyways. The one thing which is spoiling it is the cars. Is he coming right up behind? It probably is, but he's going to have to wait for us. The cars are a bit annoying. I don't think this is a. This is a dead end. It might be a dead Turning end. Them around. <laughs> I don't know. If you're going to get mugged in Stamford, it's going to be up here. <laughs> so it must be Stamford Bridge. We're on it. We're on Stamford Bridge. Because that is the tall house, so you would have had to pay to come across this bridge once upon a time. Yeah. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> now we've just walked up there a moment ago. It's called, what is it, Saint? Mary's Passage. St Mary's Passage. Just been up St Mary's Passage. Check out the barbers. <laughs> Look at the building. It's just lovely. There's lovely. actually a plaque above that tunnel in there. Look, we didn't see it because we came the other way. Well, now you've said that, we're going to go have to look at go that on plaque. You, I'm not crossing. Right, I'm going to have to look at this plaque. You know what I'm like? So there you go. Stamford. Top notch. I loved it. How many marks out of ten are you going to give that baby? I don't want to start this though. Give it a mark out of a ten. 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 <laughs> it really was a special place. Yes. It was. Yes. Everything about it. Just the feel. Everyone just seemed so relaxed. Pleasant and polite and happy. just happy. Going to Morrison's there, the supermarket, was such a happy experience. We've never had that. Every, everything <laughs> about the place, it is yeah. a really, really nice place. It's a very historic place. I wish, in a kind of way, we had done a little bit of research. Yeah. But you didn't need to, to appreciate it. Definitely not. No. But if you did, if we'd have researched that, we could have spent three or four days there. Yes. Giving you the proper history yes. tour and stuff and, and tried different foods and stuff. But... No, we just left it as that. I think, yep. I don't know, I think I'd prefer these trips we're doing. Most of them are just going to be one day. It's just, because most people go to a place they for a day. They only spend a day, yeah. And they don't do research. They, so it's about how, you know, what you see, what you feel in yeah. one day. You need to judge it on that one day. Mm. If you don't capture it on that one day, then you know how you feel about it, don't you? Yeah. But, so that's our views. Now, yeah. what we need to do... Really, we need to like mark our best towns as we're going along. Yeah. So this is only a second. We've been to where was the first? Saffron Walden, Saffron which was Walden. I think eleventh on the top of the list, eleventh um, in place, so to say. Eleventh best town I think it was. in England. Which is this? This, I believe. Was it the fifth best in England? I think you might be right. I think you mentioned it before. So, would and it's you no put wonder this why. above Saffron Walden or below? Absolutely above it, yeah. Above it? Yeah, abs for me. And I'm going to agree with different. that as well. So, at yeah. the moment, Saffron Walden is second. Yeah. And Stamford is first. Yeah. But it'll, it'll take a lot to beat this because it is a wonderful place. The mm -hmm. downside to it, I would say, is there is a lot of traffic there. The car parks are all full. All the cars are going through the city uh, town centre. Yeah. Don't like that. It'd be nice if there were a big bypass and got rid of all that traffic. Yeah, it definitely needs a bypass. Um, what else didn't I like about it? I see. For me, what I liked about it though just wasn't the character of the place. It was the people in the place as well. You know, it. it people it, were happy. They were happy. People were happy yeah, to live there. Like you could they, tell got out the right side of the bed mm. today and they were just so pleasant and lovely and the feel of the place was lovely mm. so so yeah for me the only downside was the cars as far as i can remember there were there were more but i can't remember what they are at the, off the top of my head you can't remember no oh, it's bugging me it's just and you ain't tried your on. pork pie yet have i you? haven't tried the pork pie which has <laughs> jelly around it i'm not that a jelly melt. fan it will melt yeah but it also looks like it's got a lot of white bits in the middle but as long as they melt as well i'm happy well maybe they'll know on the next vlog to whether you like it or not yeah come back and we'll show you if yeah. the pie was any good and or not. we'll be obviously moving on tomorrow as well 
Yes, we're off to... Well, we'll tell them, has we'll, it? No, are you going to say where we're going? No, I'm going to reveal. Tomorrow we are off to our first worst, worst town. Worst town. So we've done two of the best <laughs> towns in yeah. England. We're going to the first of the worst towns Do you towns know tomorrow. what number the worst town this comes in the list? I think this is about fifth worst, but I can't... Oh, really? I'm just guessing. I'm not sure. Right, OK. So I'll come back tomorrow to find out where we are. Yeah. And... In fact, we might not be showing that tomorrow because we might be live tomorrow. It's Sunday. Oh, gosh, where's the week gone? No. <laughs> so, anyway, either way, you'll be getting the worst town or you'll be getting us live. So, we'll see you all tomorrow. Yes. You have a wonderful evening. Have a wonderful evening. Take Thank care, you. all. Bye.